Hey, what's going on guys? This is Miasin. Welcome to my Attic Mr. Combo video. I honestly really like this deck. All of a sudden, I didn't even know it was that good. But yeah, just one card gets you there, so the rest of your hand can be just whatever. Utility cards, cards that allow you to play through hand shops, interruptions going second, board breaking cards, and you're good to go because exactly just like I said, you now have, you now have so many one card starters. There's when AI first met you, there's Sign at Mining, Achichi, Picari. The list goes on, well, actually not really, That's those are the only ones, but still, outside of that you probably have like two card combos and stuff. So yeah, this deck is really cool, and of course, before you start, friendly reminder to like and subscribe, because it really motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these, and yeah, let's jump right into it. So, of course, the first play is going to be to reveal a Cybers monster from your extra deck with a 2300 attack, which matches the attribute of the kind of Ignister monster that you want to search. So if we want to search the Fire Guy, which searches for a monster, which is the ideal move to do here, we're going to have to reveal either Fire Phoenix at Ignister or Deco Talker Heat Soul, but Deco Talker Heat Soul doesn't exist at the moment, so for now, as long as the card doesn't exist, just reveal the Fire of Phoenix, which you are going to be forced to play. Anyways, now we're actually gonna normal summon the Achichi to search the Picari and make the new Link one. So that's kind of like the Salamangreed Veilings. It searches the field spell, but this time it's not like Sanctuary. Just like I said, it's actually a good field spell. So you're actually going to be able to special summon the Picari, get another search, so you can kind of see the snowballing uh, aspect here. It's crazy. You search a Monster Reborn, revive back a monster. Cybers Wicked, when it's a Link 2 that uses two Cybers, whenever a monster is special summoned to a zone it points to, you can banish a Cybers from your graveyard and then search a Cybers Tuner from your deck to your hand. And uh, Bururu, I I think that's the name, yeah, Boru is actually a Cyrus Tuner, what a coincidence, level 3 Cyrus Tuner who also foolishes on summon, and this is going to be relevant to get the Doyon, which is going to be the last Cyrus monster that we need, so that's exactly what we're sending right now, the Dark Monster, so that completes the 4 attributes of actual good Ignister monsters, the other one aren't really, the other ones aren't too great, and... Now the Splash Mage, Sl Splash Mage sorry, is going to specifically revive back Doyon. That's really important because now you're actually synchro summoning for one Pegasus. And you're going to revive back the Doyon. And whenever we do make... Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> actually even better. We actually get to recycle back the Achichi when it's special summoned. Because the Buru doesn't actually negate the effect. Only the uh, Splash Mage does. So, does. Oh my god. Now you make Dark Templar. A really nice uh, soul charge, basically. And, of course, we're going to recycle back the Monster Reborn with... Uh, Doyon's effect whenever it is sent to the graveyard for the material of a link summon then AI land is going to summon the fire guy so now we actually went through wind light and fire and of course we're gonna make the link one dark infant and now we go chain link one and chain link two so this is actually going to uh, shifty boy itself we're gonna move to the other column but it only shifts itself to one column so what I really have to say here is that if you misplay by putting dark templar here instead of on the right zone uh, the, the right side of the field you're actually not gonna be able to do all of that because you won't be able to move dark infant to the right you can only move it to the left which kind of sucks it has to be to the zone it points to and anyways, now, uh, oh, we can also change this attribute to the Vine, which is relevant for, um, what's the name of it? Uh, Arrival at Ignister, the big Link 6 guy. And now, of course, we Link 3 for Deco Talker Heat Soul, and we draw one card every single turn, man, look at this. Since we recycled back a quick play Monster Reborn, we can actually set it, and then during our opponent's turn, look at this, man. We can Monster Reborn into the Doyon, and then draw another card, because apparently that's fair, and then go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2 again, so special summon two monsters from the grave and recycle back one card from the graveyard. So this is insanity. We started our turn with five cards and during our opponent's turn we have 14 cards. So one and then six monsters, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14 minus 5 equals 9, that is a plus 9, my dear friends. Insanity, one single card. When AI first met you, the Picari, the Achichi, whatever, it doesn't matter. Everything and their mother is like a plus 9 or an OTK or whatever, but it's crazy and I'm going to go right now into combo number 2. Alright, really similar, but this time I'm not going to show it with when, I, when AI first met you and the board is going to be a bit different. So now we're actually searching, of course, for Ignister AI land because of a Salamandra to Veilings, <laughs> and uh, yeah, searching when AI first met you instead of AI Idol Reborn, the, you know, whatever, the quick play Monster Reborn, uh, significantly different, um, 
I guess, no, slightly different, I want to say, pattern, where we actually go for the dark first before actually foolishing it with the wind. So this time, the wind can actually foolish for a completely other card, which is Danmari Adagnister, and the reason why this is going to be relevant is because it has a quick effect in the graveyard where it can banish itself and negate any face-up card your opponent controls, quick effect, of course, uh, while you control a Link 6 monster. And there is only one Link 6 monster, one Link 6 monster in the game, so... I am pretty sure you can actually tell what this is going to end up being. <laughs> uh, again, changing our attribute to divine, because, I mean, why not? And it, also, it's funny. <laughs> and yeah, whatever. Keep linking. Dark. Dark guy. And uh, this is crazy. So, you have a 4,000 towers. The arrival of uh, Cybrus at Ignister. It's unaffected by card effects. So, that's pretty insane. Virtual worlds will scoop to that, unless specifically they can summon a Ravenous Crocozor with, I believe, six cards in hand, because they gain 500 for every card in hand, so six multiplied by five, plus the default 1,000 would be 4,000, they would crash. But then, you have a you have an option to actually negate the effect of one card your opponent controls with a trap card, so, in other words, uh, well, sorry, with the, the quick effect from the graveyard. And there's also another thing that you can do, instead of ending your turn with Lingaribo, you can end on Cyrus Quantum Dragon, basically the exact same combo, instead of uh, synchro summoning for Wind Pegasus at Ignister, you make Cyrus Quantum, and you link that off instead, but I just wanted to have the Wind Pegasus at Ignister in the graveyard, because uh, you can banish it from the graveyard, even from the field, technically, but I just valued the Lingaribo more. And then, you know, whenever your opponent tries to destroy a card you control, well, it does resolve, you do actually get destroyed, but you shuffle back a card they control uh, back to the deck, so that's actually really neat. And this is insane, man, just with one card, again, all of that, so... Really, really nice. Let's get right now into combo number three. All right, so the number one question that my, a lot of people might have is how m how good is this deck going second? And how can it actually break through boards and stuff like that? Those are a lot of trap cards. And can you actually play good draw power in this deck? Well, I'm going to actually tell you something right now that might actually shock you a lot because ironically... I think this deck can actually play Pot of Prosperity, even though it's an OTK deck. So, I believe this is the only OTK deck I have seen pretty much since forever. I mean, it is the only OTK deck in history of Yu-Gi-Oh! that, with a single card, can deal 19,500 damage. So, even despite Pot of Prosperity having the damage you do for the rest of the turn, you can still kill your opponent with a single card, which is ridiculous. So, now we're actually getting the reboot, which is the sixth card, which almost feels real realistic, even though it's a one-of since Proud of Prosperity actually gets you six, but regardless, in this situation, you, but you also would have been able to get Harpies Feather Duster and stuff like that, so it's, it's not too bad. I main deck both anyways, since, again, it's a going second OTK deck. So our opponent is technically paying the thousand with Skill Drain, but it doesn't matter since we're going to overkill him. It's going to be ridiculous. So again, uh, uh, everything here looks very, very standard-ish. Everything that I'm doing right now is something that I could have already, like, I was, I always had the ability to do in combo number one and two. It's just that uh, since I'm actually going for game, it's going to be a tiny bit different uh, towards the end, but for now, whatever, it's still the same. And this is the issue with the uh, Attic Nister deck, is that since you are locked under Cybers, the world actually isn't your oyster for once. You really are seriously limited to the amount of plays that you can do, since there's basically nothing from the extra deck that you can make. The rituals and fusions aren't actual like interruptions or board breaking cards that are worth playing, they just add more bricks to the deck, so not really logical. But anyways, as you can see, look at this, man. This is crazy. What? <laughs> Access code is going to jump to 58, which is already a lot of damage. 58 get, that can attack twice. The trans code has 28 and can attack twice. And then we have Wind Pegasus at Ignister, whatever. Uh, and then we have four pops with Access code. So since the Wind Pegasus at Ignister actually destroyed five spells and traps, since you controlled a bunch of... Ignister monsters on your field, and the access code destroyed four, you actually get, uh, like I said, nine pops in total, and you deal 1950, 19,500 damage divided by two, so look at this, man, attack, 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 attack again, <laughs> what is this, man, for all the prosperity, it doesn't matter, I'm still gonna kill you, this deck is sick, I swear to god, I need to make more videos on it, because it's really interesting, maybe mix it with Kotalker, I'm not sure yet, but anyways, that's all I had to say in showcase for this beautiful Add Ignister combo video. If you guys have any comments or feedback, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making videos like these. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.